Hello? Hi? Good morning! I am so hyped right now. It is December 7th. It is 10.30 a.m. and I just hit 200,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? Come here. Yes, come here. We hit 200,000 subscribers. I'm tearing up. Welcome to Witness Day 8. Today's the actual first day that I'm actually going to be vlogging, actually. So, I'm just not a vlogger, you know? Also, my life's really boring. I want to show you that my Fabletics package came. My Fabletics package came, if you couldn't understand what I was saying through the scene. I did an entire video about Fabletics and what it is. You can check that video out if you want to see that. I'll link it below. <laughs> and I thought I would do a haul of what I got, because I got quite a few things. So in that haul, I hauled <laughs> that I got a black Luca puffer. And now I got this one in burgundy. If you don't know, I'm in Utah and it's freezing. I love it, it's so warm, it's so puffy, but still slimming, you know? And I wear it to the gym every day, so. Ooh, yes, give it to me, girl. This is the Sienna Fleece Jacket. This I bought this on a whim. I bought this on a whim. See, the thing I like about Fabletics is they come out with stuff, new stuff, every single month. So on the first of every month, I'm like, give me all the stuff, give me everything. What you got, girl? So then I go and pick out some new pieces, and then it's all at dirt cheap prices because I'm a VIP member. You also can be a VIP member, and you can get your first outfit for $25. You already know the drill with that. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But this has a hood, and then it's a nice zip. The girl wearing this online looks really cute. Nice little drape effect. <laughs> what? What did I get that was pink? So I picked this one up. See how cute it is? It just flows and has a really open neck. It's a quarter sleeve. Hi! Now, I already have this tee in a navy, an army green, but then they came out with it in this icy purple color. And I'm... Hi. It's very stretchy and the sleeves have this whole pattern and I just like to throw these over a sports bra and then tie it up into a crop top and wear it with my pants. I got that one in an extra, extra small slash extra small size 0 through 4. Okay, that's a really wide range, but okay. I got the Barcelona legging in black. I saw these in stores. It's more of like a street style legging. I don't know if I would really wear this to the gym, but it has zippers right here. Zippy zip. I'm more into like the street style. Street, Jimmy, casual, at the leisure is what they call it. I got two more things. I went a little ham this month. Last month, I didn't buy anything, so this month I was like... I want to go ham. This is the Lenny sports bra. And the reason why I picked this one out is because it has cups. I will not buy a sports bra if it doesn't have cups because I'm not trying to peek through. You know? Has crisscrossies in the front, crisscrossies in the back, and it's plain black. And lastly, Fabletics doesn't do just athletic clothes. They do like lifestyle athleisure clothes. <laughs> so I picked up a sweater dress because Kate Hudson was wearing it and I was like girl you look so cute oh this feels so nice a hooded a hooded sweater dress <laughs> look how cute this is hold on <clears throat> hold on hold on yes you guys always wonder what my uh, room looks like after I get done throwing stuff let me show you <laughs> Okay, hello. I have no food in this house. Zero food. Z zero food. I've needed to go to the grocery store, but I'm a little busy doing this thing called Witness. I have an Oikos uh, yogurt. Okay. I have some egg whites, but I don't really want egg whites right now. I forgot that I have Kodiak cakes. <laughs> Here it is. So I'm gonna do half a cup egg whites, one third cup of Kodiak cakes. This is just the regular protein pack. And then I'm gonna have a yogurt as well. See, like, lift it, just make, make do with what you got. Mmm, 
Are you jealous, bro? Probably so much, probably so much, probably so much. Do you ever have so much to do that you just don't know where to start? That's me today. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, fam, I'm ready for the gym. This is the tea that I just hauled from Fabletics. And then I'm wearing my nocturnal teal pants, a line two from Lulu. Today is back day and also biceps. I'm combining them as per usual. There is a boy stretching right next to me and he keeps staring at me. He's pretty cute though. I might have to go get his digits. His butt's in the air and yes, I am looking. All right, fam, starting off with single arm dumbbell rows. I am doing four sets of 10 reps on each arm. In between each set, I'm taking about a one to two minute rest. It's important to let the dumbbell come all the way down to the floor, tap it slightly, and then bring the dumbbell all the way back up. I like to think about the dumbbell coming back towards my hip. By bringing a full range of motion, the dumbbell coming all the way up, you're really gonna target the entire lateral muscle. Now by growing these muscles, we are giving the illusion of a smaller waist, and we're growing our wings. We need a stronger core. It's just good overall to be training back, so don't forget about it. Moving into my all-time favorite lateral exercise. This is a lat pull-down complex. You do a two-arm lat pull-down, and then you do a single-arm pull-down on each side. Now, it's important to move nice and slow through this movement. Um, I really want you to focus on squeezing your muscles through every single rep. I know I talk about mind-to-muscle connection, but I promise you it is so dang important squeeze at the bottom of that rep and really focus on the muscles you are working now there's no difference between doing this sitting and on my knees sometime i just feel it a little bit more in my core i have to squeeze my core so there's not a lot of movement in my lower half now i'm doing four sets of 10 same thing in between every single set i rest for about a minute Moving into a superset. A superset is two exercises done back to back with no rest in between. This is a reverse grip face pull and this was my first time trying it. I freaking loved it. So your thumb should be facing down and your palms facing away from you. It feels completely different than a normal grip face pull so please give it a try. Your back is going to feel super wide, so just squeeze really tight at the end and then release all the way back up and pull back again. I am doing eight reps, changing my grip to a normal face pull grip and doing eight reps like this. So here, my thumb is now facing up and I want you to really focus on this exercise here about squeezing your shoulder blades together. I always think about a pencil in between my shoulder blades and squeezing that pencil so hard that it just snaps snaps in half with your really strong muscles. So after you do both exercises, you are going to take a rest and we are gonna repeat the superset four times through. Nothing puts a damper on my day like having to pee in the middle of a workout. Mm. And to finish off this workout, I am doing a bicep superset. So these are outward bicep curls seated. If you do it seated, you'll be less likely to be moving your body around and using your body to pull the weight up. Focus on pulling the dumbbell up solely through your biceps. So your elbow should be pinched to the side the entire time. Your palms start facing in and they roll outwards as they come up. Then we are moving into hammer bicep curls where same thing, you want your elbows pinched to the side the entire time, but your palms are facing inward the entire time. Now, I'm a little bit weak in my biceps. It's something I'm working on. So I was using 15 pound dumbbells. Use a weight you are comfortable with, but challenges you. We are doing four sets of this. So bicep curls back to back, take a breather, and then repeat three times for a total of four supersets. 
As always, I will write the entire workout in the description box below so you can take it to the gym with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout and this vlog. Okay, and back to the vlog, okay. Some days you just have a really bad workout and then other days you have a fantastic workout and then you're just pumped up. Um, hype! Can you help me out? Yeah. Can you push this over? Yeah. I'm a little stuck. But I had to get that VIP parking, you know? Wow, you look so beautiful. I did my makeup at my desk. Wow. Girl, do you work out? I'm so Girl, cool. do you lift, girl? What? Oh. Yeah, girl. Quick grocery store haul. I got lean ground turkey, turkey bacon, some chicken tenderloins, some eggs, and some egg whites, some whole wheat bread, grapes, strawberries, bagel thins, and some cream cheese. Jazzy Poo ate this, a bagel and cream cheese, in her last uh, What I Eat In A Day, so I've been craving it. Some tortillas from my chicken quesadillas, baby carrots, light string cheese, asparagus, avocados, and a bell pepper. Mm. This is the real me. I lay here on my floor in my new ocean blanket, and uh, I respond to comments. This is the real me. Was that good? Great. <laughs> In my ocean blanket. All right, I'm gonna edit the rest of tomorrow's video, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. Leave any of your witness requests below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That concludes this witness. We love you so much. We love you so much. We love you so much. Goodbye, love you so much.